Hello and welcome to another episode of Two Minutes with Tim here on Have a Word Thinking. Today we're continuing on in 1 John chapter 3, starting in verse 7 and going through 8. Dear children, do not let anyone lead you astray. The one who does what is righteous is righteous, just as he is righteous. The one who does what is sinful is of the devil, because the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the devil's work. So as we've been talking about in 1 John, living differently than those around us, we've been talking about being light, living in the light, walking in the light. And if we're claiming to be a Christian, if we're claiming to walk in the light of Christ, then we have to be different and we have to live apart from our life of sin. We need to live differently when we become a Christian. If you lived a long time without Christ and then you came to Christ, your life should look very different uh, than when you didn't have Christ. And for those of us who have grown up in the church, our life should be very different than those around us because we're claiming to live in the light of Christ. We're claiming to walk according to the word of God. We have to leave behind that sin. So there's this distinction here. The one who does what is right is righteous just as Christ is righteous. The one who does what is sinful is of the devil because the devil has been sinning from the beginning. So we see that we are not to continue to live our life of sin. Now again, we're going to make mistakes, we're going to fall short, and we are covered by the grace of Jesus Christ, but we are supposed to reject that lifestyle of sin. We're not supposed to keep committing the same sins over and over and living a lifestyle of sin. We're supposed to live a lifestyle of righteousness here, walking according to the truth of Scripture, walking according to what God tells us we should be doing, and living according to what God tells us to do each day, and not falling into that temptation to continue to live in our lifestyle of sin that we were in before we became to, became a Christian and a follower of Jesus Christ. We see at the end of verse 8, the reason the Son of God, Jesus Christ, appeared was to destroy the devil's work. So we see that there is this constant battle between good and evil, between Jesus and the devil. And we have been looking at that in First John. We've been seeing this battle between light and darkness. And we want to, as Christians, live in the light and follow Jesus, not be consumed with evil, not be like the devil where he is consumed with that unrighteousness. We want to live a righteous lifestyle where we're our eyes are focused on Jesus, and our commitment to Jesus is evident in what we do and in who we are each day. Next time, we'll finish this section up in verse 9 and 10. So join us next time for another episode of Two Minutes with Tim here on Heavenward Thinking.